they stay off wings. Which is bad news for you floor dwellers, isn't it? Being some pretty big critical hits coming through there now. Doing 100 just regular damage, here's a 214 critical hit. Excellent. How you doing down there with your legs? Well, I know a boss that really needs to die. Let's go see if we can find them. Basically, I'm going to wait till I have some relics that boost my defense. And that's just going to be my overall strategy. Try and get my defense, my damage reduction up to 75%, add some toughness, plus damage. You know what? I think we're actually going to start with this stuff to start. I know I was just preaching all about defense and armor, but I kind of like this setup, at least to get us started. We have a very similar sword that's going to give us a little more damage, but two of the bat family. The bat family can be a set if we find the right pieces, the extra movement speed will get us through the dungeon faster. We'll find lots of items in the first dungeon anyway, and let's face it, it's not very difficult. Combine that easy dungeon with this awesome legendary we're about to get and we'll really be rolling. We got the dash shield. I've never had that, I don't think. Well, that's definitely interesting. 20 to 40 damage, 20 defense, 10 block, 40% dash damage, but you can't attack. Basically, you just have to dash with it, and that's all you can do. Of course, my bat still can attack, so I might actually try this to see if this is fun. And since I used my blessing to get this item, I'm kind of committed to this at this point. Uh, so far works pretty good. This is however just the first dungeon, but this will be an amusing way to get through the first dungeon. For the most part, it does about one shot the enemy. Sometimes they do survive, but hit them again. Easy. And I think I can see how the Bat Family set would add up, because it actually throws quite a bit of damage out there. If you had two more of those, I could see it being pretty good. Blue Chest gives us nothing we want. I really want armor still at this point. As fun as this is, I do need actual items. A small chest full of nothing. I would start combining some items, but I'm going to wait till the floor is cleared first. That way I have more options of what I can combine, hoping for better items. Because I think the better quality items you use, the better chance you have of finding good stuff. Found the food shop a little bit later than I would have liked, but we'll get over that. They don't really have a lot for defense, but I'm going to take anything I can. That's only 54 food we'll be able to buy again soon. The item shop has a shield I definitely like, and that's really about it. I am going to buy a blue item for only a thousand gold though because I can use that to combine it into something better. This shield does give me one toughness so it's automatically one of my favorites. Blue chest gives me a heavy meteor fragment, the second one we found of course. And I like a regular sword way better than that legendary shield. It's an amusing concept but not that useful. This will be armor. Nope. It's the same sword I have now. Maybe it's better though. Nope, it's exactly the same. Look how many rooms there are without a door for teleporting. That's super annoying. Next food is going to give us defense plus evasion. And let's mess with the item combiner to see what we can get. Blue, blue, blue equals garbage. Blue, blue, and blue equals... Well, that's something we'll take for now. That's increased attack speed plus max health. And we'll just throw whatever else in there because who really cares? Successful enough first floor, but I do need to start finding some armor and defense. I did get the shield, however, so you know what? Good enough for now. And really, as long as I have my legendary accessory, my little follower, that's all I really need is my foundation. But if the game wanted to give me some armor here, I certainly wouldn't say no. Nope, the horse killer sword. I hate that sword. A little chest could still be armor. Nope, another weapon. The food shop has a pretty amazing item already. 31% attack speed, 25% reload speed. Reload speed I don't care about, but that attack speed and movement speed is actually pretty big. And I can just afford it right now. Then we'll do that. Bring our hunger down, then we'll get some more defense afterwards. I was just going to comment how I haven't found one of these big chests yet. And the coin gun. Hmm. Simply fires gold, 10 per shot. Wait, is that- oh, it's actually using up my coins. Well, later on this might come in handy when I have money to spare, but for now, I don't. If I was rich, that might actually be a very high damage weapon. A blue chest? Surely it's got to give me something defensive. Spring shoes might actually have some defense, as annoying as I find them. Nope, just attack speed and extra jumping power. The item shop on this floor actually has some armor for me. It movement speed balances out, but 15 defense. And a slightly better steam shield. You know what, that's only going to give me two extra health. I'm not going to waste the money on it. And the miniature planet. I won't lie to you, the drops haven't been the greatest this time. And we're going all in on defense. So we're already up to 75, which is a 61% damage reduction, which will probably come in handy against this idiot who sometimes gives me troubles depending on what items I'm holding at the time. This time, I don't think it's going to be that bad. So far, he hasn't actually hurt me yet, and I've got him down to about half health. And that should be him. Now, give me some more armor, please. I'm almost maxed out as it is. Probably start increasing my health at some point, too. Don't have a lot. Orange hairband. Don't think I want that. Although, 15 max health. I won't say no to that for now. Down the item shop fairly quickly in the jungle. Nothing. Nothing at all. I am starting to get worried. I'm definitely going to need a better weapon at some point. You just can't expect me to rely on my skills in a game like this. I need to be able to tank through everything. Found that thing. 
not better than my current sword, though I don't even need to look at it. All right, here's when it's absolutely overpowered. Five power, 10 max health, additional accessory slot. I can hold one more entire item. For now, it's going to be the stupid bat, but when I start finding some better ones, that's going to be huge. These dungeons so far are playing really hard to get with some of the items I want. To be fair, it has been pretty good to me for the last few runs, but I want armor and I want a better weapon. A blue chest with a shield, a heater shield. Is that going to be better than mine? I might just use it because it has one extra toughness. The extra gold I don't care about, the block, the defense, it's mostly the same. This one gives me a little bit of damage. I want the extra toughness. Let's add another 9 power and 7.5 defense, which already puts us up to a 65% damage reduction. Before I fight the boss, I am going to add the monocle. 5 critical chance, 1 extra defense. Why not? Probably going to need it, seeing as they're not really doing a lot of damage anyways. But this boss usually is pretty straightforward for me lately. As long as I'm not doing anything too stupid, I shouldn't have too much of a problem. I'm not doing a ton of damage, but so far, all it's really done is just taken off my shield. Even if it does hit me, yeah, my damage reduction is so high, two damage. Come on, something useful for once. Spike shield, which definitely is kind of interesting because increased power by up to 50% of defense. If I have like 100 defense, that's an extra 50 power, which is considerable. If only I had a proper weapon to match that with. Yeah, these guards are going to get a lot harder now. I can't really tear through things at my normal speed. I can't hide from them and use my shield, but already I took one damage. That's uncharacteristic for a floor like this. A little chest full of something I don't want. How shocking. Small room, blue chest, one ring. Ring of Midas, because yeah, gold is clearly all I want. Root shop though, just in time. A special power that gives me more gold, absolutely not what I want. We'll take health defense power. I'm almost in disbelief how few good items the game has given me this run. Got some steel boots, that should be some extra armor, finally. Evasion and defense. Plus, ignoring spike traps certainly never hurts. I step on those way more than I should. Yep, I'm starting to lose a lot of health, mostly because I just can't really kill anything. I need way more damage. But at the very least, I can make some tributes for now to make sure I get a legendary next run. Really a shame I'm not finding more accessories that are helpful considering I have five slots for them right now. Case in point, more garbage. Next, I'm going for 11 max health. That's whatever healing that is. So I've got 70 health to work with, which is probably adequate, but this boss fight is going to be slow. And because I've never played the game The Floor is Lava, I just lost a whole bunch of health I really didn't have to lose. I will take like any halfway useful accessory. Uh, that sword is debatably better than mine probably anyways. It really honestly might be. It's not far off. I think I might actually try this stupid thing against the boss. Might as well. It's going to do more damage. And if I can't physically kill the boss in time, I'm just going to slowly take damage anyways. Or switch back and forth or something. I'm not really sure. Maybe I'll switch back and forth. We'll see how this goes because I'm not doing much at all. I guess on the plus side, he's not doing a ton of damage to me either. But it's still enough that I do need to be a little bit careful. I've got 29 health left. He's doing a few per hit depending on what it is it's hitting me. Uh, yeah, I get hit twice there. It's about four or five per hit. But he's dead. I'll get 80 healing. Life goes on. All I need is a weapon. That's all. Which is this one. Twin short sword. Not even close. Prediction. I am not going to survive the peaceful grasslands because floors look like this and I'm not going to have the damage to kill anything. Already losing massive amounts of health because I have to hit everything a million times and then I've got to do that while dodging everything. And also with this sword, you got to get so close to everything. I think that might be the biggest problem with it. Like I got to be right up and against things to hit them. Normally I can have a little bit of distance. Oh, it must have heard me whining. And we got a silver bullet for that. One silver bullet. Bullets penetrate through enemies. If only I had a gun to use. I don't know if I've even found a single gun this entire time. This room is already giving me nightmares. Okay, once the dragons are dead, I can kind of get things under control. Okay, that's not so bad now. But even like just dealing with these dogs normally wouldn't be a problem. But in this case, it was. I had to take damage just to get rid of them. Something? Anything? The same sword I have for the third time now this run. To be fair, this new one is a little bit better. 20% faster, 7 power. So it's better, but it's still only what it is. Blue chest? Crossbow. No accessory, no weapon. Boot shop though, without too much to work with, 5 max health, 5.2 defense is decent. I have 72% damage reduction now, which is basically as high as it can get, so I'm happy in that regard. I just really need a weapon and maybe some accessories that can help me in rooms like this. And probably also rooms like this that aren't good for my health, not one bit. Even one of those rooms where I get to pick my items, I would love one of those. Because then at least I'd have an item that's probably good, although it'd probably be four pieces of garbage. Healing and a blue chest. A bouquet. That's the third one of those I found so far, and I didn't want it the first two times. This is another one of those rooms that's probably going to do way more damage than I'd like it to. Now we got to figure out how to deal with that guy. I think they use that to draw you in when they use the black hole. So I think I get it. Uh, yeah, except I'm not supposed to do that part of it. You just got to think of them like they're doing a charge attack. When they go to do it, get out of their way. Otherwise, they're going to stun you and hit you. 
Blue chest and another one of these swords. Wow, that's got to be a record. And can I just have like one legendary? Even like a yellow item, yellow weapon accessory. Either one of those would be just fine. Ow. I just found a steel warhammer. That might be what I need to survive all this. Uh, as soon as I figure out how to deal with all this stuff, we'll switch to that. I was feeling annoyed, so I forgot to let my shield charge before I jumped into this room. So now I got a dragon that's probably going to kill me. Okay. That room is done. I can set up my platform and look at my Warhammer. 5 to 24. Oh, and that's a one-handed weapon. Okay, yeah, absolutely going to use that. Stun damage, more damage. Yes, please. And I'll put it to use against his dragon. It's not a ton better, but it's definitely better. Critical hits are going to add up fast. Just having a slightly better weapon makes me feel so much better about this. This guy. Do I trust him right now? Do I not trust him right now? I don't really remember what he does, so I'm going to leave him alone for now. If the rest of this floor goes disastrously well, I'll try him on the off chance he can save my run. Little bit of healing. And another crossbow. It keeps giving me the same items again and again and again. The item shop it does at least have leather armor. I'm going to take that just because I need any little bit of help I can get right now. That's going to replace that. And that puts us up to our 75% damage reduction. Now I can focus on damage, toughness, whatever else I need. And I wonder if we have anything here I could actually sacrifice. Maybe the sword that I've got four of. Is that going to put us all the way up? It is that close. Probably don't need penetrating bullets. But then again, I might. Also this. Uh, no, don't need that. And we're pink again. I'm going to use the coin thing against the boss. When we get to that, healing an extra critical chance was it? I wasn't even reading it. So if I have my coin gun out, I still have a 67% damage reduction. I think that's going to work. I'm just hoping it does an incredible amount of damage. If not, I'll be doing it with my hammer here. We know that it's not the greatest. All right, let's do this. Uh, it's doing some damage, not a ton, but better than my sword was my hammer for sure. And back to the waiting game. I guess I gotta wait for it to change color. I don't really remember. My health is going down way too fast. Okay, I have 18 health left. This is turning pretty disastrous pretty quick. Yep, good. Okay, back to this. Extra damage reduction. Uh, this would have been faster from the beginning. Never mind, we're dead. That goes to show you, even with 75% damage reduction, if you don't have a decent weapon, you're boned. Starting over again, might have found one of my new favorite weapons ever. 41 to 45 damage in a sniper rifle. Plus 5 defense, that never hurts. And that looks something like this. Lots of range on it, and that hit two things. That hit for 100 for a critical hit from all the way back here. So this is probably going to make things pretty easy for me. I do at the very least have the damage I was missing before. It's not the quickest to attack, but when it hits, it basically one-shots everything. And I just found Siri, the combat helper in the most unlikely of chests. That's going to help me out with the homing missiles, critical chance, power, gold drop. Rooms like this, or I'm really going to like this, because my homing missiles can hit things, and so can I. That was the easiest room in the world. Plus, my homing missile thing can go right through the walls. So in rooms like this, I can just sit here. Don't have to do a thing. All right, I got my sword on backup, but we're going to see how this does against the boss. I'm determined to see how much damage I can milk out of this thing by the end of the run. Uh, you know what? It's a little bit slow against the boss, but... It's still doing pretty hard hits. If I can get like some extra critical hit and attack speed out of this, like I'll be laughing. I think I can kill everything here. Nope. Things definitely get stronger on the second floor, but still not much of a problem for me currently. And look what I found on this run. How about we enhance maybe, I don't know, this gun? 14 power, 20% better weapon performance. I was kind of hoping for some critical hits, but you know what? 49.2 to 54 damage isn't too bad at all. Just need some attack speed and critical chance and critical damage. Probably gonna have to use the sword to get rid of the ice pillars, but then the gun to bat damage the boss? Something like that. Okay, I've got to be careful when using that gun. It doesn't do a lot of damage in a hurry. It can one-shot things, but if it doesn't, I'm pretty susceptible to getting hit back. This is a pretty big risk, so I'm absolutely gonna take it. And dead. Are those wings? Wings. Okay, cool. I got wings. Allows flight. Okay. Oh, we can literally fly. Interesting. Yeah, I'm going to try this for a bit. Don't mind me, just your guardian angel with a sniper rifle. Well, that's going to make it easy to uh, dodge a lot of attacks and stuff if I don't have to be on the ground. Yeah, I'm going to like this. This is perfect. Especially considering that a lot of enemies can't attack me if they can't touch me. And if I'm up in the air, they can't touch me. Ah, yeah, look at these guys. Normally this room would kind of suck, but you know what? Not so bad this time. Was really hoping I'd be able to afford that. 9% critical damage, 6 critical chance. Oh well, at least I have wings. Which is bad news for you floor dwellers, isn't it? Seeing some pretty big critical hits coming through there now. I'm doing 100 just regular damage. Here's a 214 critical hit. Excellent. How are you doing down there with your legs? I don't think I can even get hit if I'm up here. Done. For killing the boss, we get another green bat. Which is kind of a shame because I had the baby green bat earlier and I dropped it. Here's some good food. Two toughness. 
Yeah, these items almost make it too easy. Like, I can sit mostly out of the way of most attacks, my homing missiles do most of the work, and if not, my sniper rifle certainly does the rest. Like in this room. I know there's something dangerous down there, can't see it, so I'm gonna let my missiles do all the work, and then we're done. And I just found something that may boost toughness for toughness. I think I want to use this. The toughness plus the movement speed, it's just hard to beat. I'm gonna lose a little bit of critical chance doing that, but I want that toughness. All right, time for another boss fight. Not really sure how this one's gonna go. I know I can avoid most things being in the air, but not everything for sure. Definitely makes this part easy because all I gotta do is fly to the space and then I wait for him to come back and shoot him. Yeah, I'm not doing a ton of, ton of damage to him, but I am doing damage. He's dead. Just need this to shoot a little bit faster and it'll be absolutely perfect. Look what the food shop has for me. Two green items. This one, defense, critical chance, toughness, true damage, max health. Which is going to be great for me because these floors are already doing damage to me. First floor, I lost three health. Rooms like this, as long as they have the wings that I'm paying attention, they basically can't hurt me. Those lightning things on the ground sure can, but now that those are dead, nothing else. If I really wanted to get crazy at some point, I could put on a few pieces of the madness set and get tons of power at the sacrifice of health and defense. Now as much as I would love to add to true damage, whatever that really means, I don't think that's worth it. Defense, critical chance. Definitely super annoyed that I got rid of the baby green bat earlier because that would have been a complete set and I could finally find out what that did. Boss fight time and I'm not overly optimistic about this. I really just gotta pay attention and avoid damage more than anything. At least with these wings, I can just drift straight up and down and attack all the way from the back so I can see everything coming from a long ways away. That's kind of what I'm banking on for this to work. So far, so good. Like, it's easy to dodge from way back there. No slimes come out and explode. I get that now. I never really took the time to pay attention to this boss. Still taking way more damage than I would like to be. Those are heat seeking missiles. Got it. So far, so good though. Avoid the slimes. That's going to hit me there. Avoid heat seeking missiles some more. A couple more hits and this should be done actually. This was easier than I thought it was going to be. 212 critical hit. That's why. Because I'm an angel with a gun. That's all there is to it. Ring of Midas. Garbage. Come on, food shop is something amazing. Okay, we got the food shop part right. What do we got? Well, for now, let's add 9.5 critical damage, 5.8 critical chance. That's going to be huge for this gun. And then hopefully we don't get any rooms that are too, too difficult. Yeah, it definitely makes these uh, rooms a lot easier if I can just kind of hover around in strange places. The enemies can't really hit me that easily. Plus the extra damage I'm doing definitely helps. 100, 200 crits, easy. This room would be an absolute nightmare if I didn't have the wings in this gun. Even as it is, it's going to be a little bit tricky, but I just kind of got to avoid attacks like always. And that's not so bad. And one more. For the most part, I could just do this. Sit up top and uh, kill everything. I think I might have a pretty good advantage against the boss of this dungeon too, because normally I stand in the fire to take most of my damage. If I'm flying, I can't really stand in the fire. As long as I'm paying attention. Finally, first time all day it's given me a legendary. And it's Nestron. Whatever that means. I'm sure it's great and all, but not what I'm after on this run, not even close. Though interestingly, it is part of a set, and I do actually have this piece of that set too, so if I had this simple frost choker, well, we can see what that actually does. Final food on the floor, 3.2 defense, 9 max health. So on this one, our damage reduction is only 58%, but I'm hard to hit because I'm flying on the ceiling the whole time. And that's really working out pretty well for me, except in rooms like this, but things are having a hard time doing any damage to me at all, because as soon as I have the top layer under control, everything else dies easy. Finished this entire floor, have full health, and there's four pieces of health lying around as well. Now to see if we can deal with Lasley. The wings should work to my benefit, but sometimes they do work against it. But it should help me keep me nice and mobile, hopefully, so he can't really hit me. There goes my shield already, so that's not a great start. Okay, as long as I'm paying attention, I will be okay, but I've already lost way more health than I should have. Okay, as it turns out, this gun maybe isn't the best choice for Lasley. My other weapons would do way more damage and my toughness would make a difference. I thought this would be easier just in a sense that I could kind of float around out of harm's way, but I seem to be putting myself into harm's way more than anything. Not that that's a great surprise, like by doing that and that. Basically, I really just wish I could stop walking into damage like that. I, this would be easier without the wings. Next time, no wings. Okay, he's down twice, but I've got one health left. Unless I can defeat him entirely without getting hit once. Uh, this isn't going to go so well. And I was so confident coming into this. Maybe I can hide like here. Is this going to work? If this works, this will be the nope. stupidest thing ever. And I don't know if the wings maybe just aren't quite quick enough. I didn't know the movement speed. Like I saw the attack coming, held over. I definitely didn't move one bit before it hit me. I guess we'll just stick to what we know. 